Hello and welcome to this tutorial on checking the hash of a file, a downloaded file, and verifying that it is the file it's supposed to be. A hash is a mathematical, mathematically generated value when you take any type of input, like a file or a string of characters, and you run it against what is called a hashing algorithm. Uh, in this case, we're going to use, they use <clears throat> the SHA-256 hashing algorithm. It's just a function that takes input and performs some uh, operations on it and spits out a, a value that should not be, excuse me, should not be a uh, duplicate value of this. So you put in a totally different number, totally different file, it should never equal this value. If it if there is, it's what's called a collision, but that's for another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to just go ahead and see how we can verify this, uh, this download here. So we're going to go ahead and we're at the GIMP site. Uh, GIMP is an image manipulation program. If you're not familiar with it, it's, uh, it's like an open source version, a free and open source version of uh, Photoshop. We're going to go ahead and start the download directly. And we'll save. It's going to take a couple of moments to get going. So while that's going on, we'll go ahead and pick up the program we'll use for uh, verifying the hashing algorithm. So we want to go ahead and go to the Microsoft Store. In here, we want to pick up, we want to search for a program called Hash Checker here. In hash checker, we just take the value, the, the hash value here, and then we input the file, and it will tell us if it matches. We're going to say no thanks on that and let this download begin. So, GIMP is in fact installed, so we'll bring up our downloads. We have GIMP set up here. Soon as hash checker is done, we'll go ahead and open it up and make a comparison. Alright. Hash checker is installed, so what we'll do is we don't even actually, it's really cool. We'll open it up. Uh, we'll go ahead and take our value here. Copy that with Control C. Come on over and paste it. It'll automatically detect that it's a SHA-256. And we'll bring in our file and just drag it on in. Or we could have chosen it from the selection. But here we can see that the it has calculated the the value of the file, ran against this algorithm, and confirmed that the file we have here is the file that was uploaded to, or placed on this site for uh, for users to download. It hasn't been tampered with, so thanks for taking the time to watch the tutorial. I hope you found it informative, and stay tuned for more content to come. Thank you.